Hi, today we'll be working on this uh, Nintendo 64 cartridge. We'll try to save it uh, or bring it back to life. Um, this is one of the Zeldas. I can't really, I don't really know which one because I'm not a huge fan of a Nintendo 64. But anyway, so this just doesn't work. Um, when I plug it in, it just does nothing. Uh, so we'll try to have a look. So I'll disassemble this thing and we'll have a look at the at the board. So I'll, I'll disassemble it off camera and I'll come back. Okay, so the board is out. It take, All it takes is just two screws with this stupid Nintendo game bit screws or whatever. Then uh, um, just removing this shield. This shield, uh, initially I thought the battery has leaked and I think it did. Well, at some point maybe it has been replaced. No, it doesn't look like. So there's um, clearly some damage here but this shouldn't affect the cartridge let me have a look at the card quickly um yeah there is some uh, can i zoom in we'll go no i can't we'll go under the microscope anyway so i can see some um damage here like right here there is some um, damage, but I don't think it really. There's really nothing obvious on this side of the board. I mean, everything. Oh. So first things first. Um, broken trace, as you can see right here. Let's go to under the microscope. So again, on the first side, um, I will probably dis disorder this battery and see what happened there, because I'm not sure, maybe somebody has replaced it, but this doesn't look great. So, um, well, somebody must have been here, because again, this trace didn't... Uh, broke itself. This right here. Anyway, let's go under the microscope. Okay, <clears throat> so um, this is the battery side, obviously, and... Uh, yeah, I think the battery has leaked at some point, probably not this one, because there is a clear kind of damage rust here. I'm not sure about this. This doesn't look right. Uh, hopefully these traces are okay. I'll need to go and check both of these for continuity. Yeah, this is some damage. right there. Where does this go, by the way? I have no idea. Um, okay, so this side, again, the, the, the area here doesn't look great. Um, that battery has leaked, clearly. So I will need to clean this whole thing off, but let's zoom in on the to the other side. And so this is this is the spot. Let me go ahead and clean this this spot right here because this looks to me like a broken trace. Or maybe it's not. We'll test it. So take my multimeter. Okay, so it beeps, and let's focus on this. So this is the pin, and this trace goes here, and we don't have continuity. Is this correct? Yeah. So again, hopefully you can hear the beep. And right here, nothing. So let's take this one, for example, and this one goes here, and there's a beep. No beep. So this must be... This trace must be broken. Let's do a quick... check. So I'll use my mini... Dremel tool. Okay. 
Okay. Let's clean it off. So yeah, clearly, this trace is missing. Uh, what about the other traces? This look okay to me. Yeah, this side looks okay. Uh, let me, before I start, or I start working on that trace, let me flip to this side and check those. There's another one that might be... broken. No idea where it goes. Let's do a quick check. So, it's this one it goes there, and must be this one here. Let's check that. Actually, there's another one. Uh, no, okay, so I think it's this one, but I'm not 100% sure. Right there. And then... No. So there is continuity here. There must be this one. Let's see where it goes. I have no idea. It goes underneath this this chip. So not sure if this is conductive. It is perfect. So let me try it again. Okay. Seems. Let me try and uh, zoom out a little bit, because it's getting hard. Okay, so I zoomed out and I um, moved the board sideways, so that I can see everything. So, from here to here. And we don't have kind of continuity. We have continuity here. Uh, maybe I am wrong. Oh yeah, it's not... Oh yeah, this is the line. I think it's this line here. Okay, I'll do something else. Let me try. Because I'm not sure I don't want to desolder this chip, so... Hmm, it looks like... To me, it looks like it is... That trace, but... I'll uncover a little bit of copper. So that I can just test continuity here. So... Let's go ahead and do this. So from here, so from here to, and we don't have continuity, so this trace is broken. What about this one? This one goes, oh god, this one goes, yeah, just disappears. I think this one might be good. Let's do the same thing. Off. Right there. This one's good. This one's broken. So at least two traces need to be repaired. This looks more or less okay. And right here near the battery. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. I don't know where these traces go. They just disappear in this hole. And this hole is not a via. Why? This via looks mm, pretty bad.
there is some copper there, so it should be okay, hopefully. Let's check the other side. The other side is somewhere here. That looks good. Looks okay. I think this one is fine. Where does... Yeah, that's... I don't really get this. Why? Do these traces with this? Have here? No. I don't get it. Why these traces end up in this place? But anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. What's this? Is this another broken trace? Where does it go? Okay. So this one, we'll check this one, it goes from here. What's this? Was somebody doing something here? And up to this place. So let's try it. So from from here. Need to scrap a little bit of that via maybe with the, should be enough. There. There and okay, so this one's okay. Okay, so I think we only have two, well, on, not only, but we have two traces to repair this one. So let's prep this already. This one right here. Um, how do I do this? This resistor doesn't help. Okay. That should be okay. Yeah, this stress is broken, definitely. I'll do a little bit more, so I have more space here. Right there, I'll probably disorder this, this resistor here. Uh, maybe not, maybe I'll be able to do it. Yeah, I just don't want to make more work than absolutely necessary. Okay, so let's fix those. So this one here and uh, where was it? This one here. I'll uncover a little bit more of copper here as well. Right there. And there. Okay, that should be enough. Hopefully. Okay, let me find some traces or paths that I can use. Okay, so um, I've removed the battery and yes, it was clearly leaking. Uh, I cleaned the board as much as I could, so let's focus on fixing these um, traces. So I'm using these pad strips and uh, but first things first, let's prep this. So let me switch to some useful tip. This one should be okay. And let's prep these spots where we'll be putting those pad strips. So this here. That should be enough. Let's do the other side. Where was it? Close to that. There. So let's put some flux on this. And do the same thing here. So I'll add some solder. Just like that. And Grab a few of these. So I got it here. And it's gone already. I need to use slightly. Maybe this will be better. So I've got this one here. 
and I'll be using to put it here, but I will need to zoom in. This should be enough. So let's go ahead and put this part in place right here. First, I'll add some fresh plugs, just a tiny bit, and let's go ahead and put that strip in there. It's already bent, but that's okay. This side's good. Let's do this side maybe something like this yeah I should have removed this resistor but it'll be good it'll be okay just stop it there okay obviously I will need to remove this bit so let's remove it now obviously don't want this thing to touch the you know what just oh come on gone okay so let's clean this side off and see if we have continuity and yes I will put solder mask on over it it's just when I'm done I'll do it on both sides so right there and we were going if you remember actually It'll be easier like this. So from here to and we have continuity and I'll keep it here and I'll go to the other side because it was somewhere here I think. So let me let me go ahead and check. So this one here and we don't still have continuity, we still don't have continuity. How? Was it this one? Yeah, it was. So, once again, here. Let's check if we have continuity, yeah. And then... Just wondering, is that trace broken under the chip? Could be. It could be broken under this chip because, yeah, I definitely don't want to desolder it unless it's unless it's not this trace. Yeah. Or let me have a quick look here. What's that? There is continuity, so that's fine. So it must be... Do you know what? Let's just probe this. So I'll go ahead, I'll do this, so I'll connect it and I'll go there. So it goes to one of the pins, this pin. Okay, so this trace is good. Let's do the other one. Let me clean this off again, just to make sure I'll, my um, solder mask will stick to it. Okay. So that's good. Let's fix the other one, the other side, which was right here. So I need another strip, because that first one is gone somewhere. So I'll grab another one. You know what I'll add flux first so that it can it sticks to it. Like that. And right 
right there. So let's go ahead and solder it. Right here. It's okay. Now let's do it on this side. Let me just Something like this, there, and should be able to, to solder it just like that. So, sits nicely there. Let's check the continuity first, and it was going from. Fortunately, we can see it, the full picture now. So, from here to here, and we have continuity. That's good. So, um, let me clean this whole thing off. We'll put some solder mask over those traces. So, with the solder mask, you only need a tiny, tiny bit of it. Just to cover the copper, I'll cover this one as well, just to protect it. Maybe a tiny bit more, right here. So this side's good. So UV light. Okay, done. The other side, where was it? Right here. So we'll do the same thing. Again, we don't need much. Just need to make sure that it's covered just like that and again some UV light okay so both sides are done hopefully this will now boot I'm not entirely sure if the N64 cartridges yeah this needs Cleaning, so I'll clean this off later. I'm not entirely sure if this cartridge will boot without the battery. Um, and the problem is I don't have any batteries at this point, this moment. I think I will install the um, some sort of battery holder here. But anyway, time to test it. So we'll flip switch to, to um, my video capture device and we'll see. Okay, so the cartridge is uh, put back together just temporarily. I didn't put any screws in. Um, this is the N64 and it's connected to my capture device. And uh, yeah, let's see if it works. So let me share my capture device screen and let's power it on. Okay, looks like it works. Now, I also have my controller here I'm not sure let me right here I'm not sure if it will work because some buttons just don't work on it let's see if we can go anywhere yes yeah, start works okay ah, okay a button doesn't work so I won't be able to do anything but again um, clearly the cartridge works so 
Um, yeah, I mean, that was it. Uh, I also, by the way, I've also cleaned the contacts, obviously. The, this cartridge obviously needs an, um, a little bit more work. First of all, I need to find a battery. I'll probably need to buy one because I don't have these particular ones. And uh, I'll clean the case from that uh, nasty corrosion. And uh, yeah, so that's that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll do something else next time. By the way, please like and subscribe um, if you like my videos. And you can also buy me a coffee. There's a link uh, in the description. Uh, that would help. Thank you.